Hi, Dr. Josh Axe here, Dr. Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In today's video, I'll be going through how to get rid of scars fast and forever, and especially doing it naturally. I'll be going through the best essential oils, some that'll surprise you, nutrients, and things you need to do to get rid of scars here fast. Now, first thing I wanna do is cover some of the types of scars and things to know. Listen, scarring is a natural part of healing. It occurs over an injured area, and really the through an inflammatory response. And as you age, different genes, ethnicity, and factors can also affect how your body specifically scars. Now, there are many types of scars. One is a keloid scar, okay? Now, a keloid scar is due to excessive collagen deposits. Now, this can oftentimes occur over a wound during infection. And also, this can be caused from things like burns, chicken pox, body piercings, scratches, surgical cuts, or even a vaccination site, can you can get this type of keloid scar. So we'll go over how to get rid of this scar in a minute. Another type of scar is a hypertrophic scar. Now this is similar to the keloid, but rarely more than four millimeters above the skin. Usually these are red, pink, and they become sort of hard and itchy over time as well. This is primarily a buildup of type three collagen at the site. Also, contracture scars, you can see kind of what happens here, sort of this whiteness and the waviness there. This is typically the result of a burn, okay? Now this is actually your body tightening the skin there. May go deeper affecting muscles and nerves though as well. And then of course, acne scars. These can get deep pits, angular wave-like. You can see this can happen as well. So we'll go over how to get rid of all these different types of scars now. Let's first talk about the best essential oils. One of the best is tea tree oil. Now tea tree oil is one of the best, especially while the wound is healing, okay? Tea tree oil is one of the oils with the most powerful antimicrobial benefits, yet very gentle on the body. So again, tea tree oil, the best used during the time of healing if you're gonna use that oil. Now, af um, along with it, both while it's healing and after healing, Manuka essential oil is fantastic. Now you can see here, it has properties which helps heal damage and sc scarred skin, helps regenerate new cells while preventing wound infections. And it's good to add a few drops of this once it's healed with coconut oil. But again, Manuka oil, one of the best oils out there, both while it's healing and afterwards, for getting rid of scars. Another favorite of mine is helichrysum. Helichrysum and Manuka, again, are my top two, by the way, helichrysum being number one. Now, helichrysum is antioxidant rich, it supports regeneration of dam damaged tissue, UV blocking properties combine several drops of this with something like, you could do coconut oil, probably my favorite oil to use though for this is calendula oil, okay? So calendula oil mixed with helichrysum, probably the most powerful combo on the planet for getting rid of all types of scars. Remember, calendula, helichrysum, uh, uh, great combo there. All right, frankincense oil, similar. Reduces scarring, anti-inflammatory benefits, reduces surgery scars, mix several drops there. I like mixing it with calendula and also a very um, uh, moistening oil like an emu oil here as well, which we'll talk about. Vetiver oil, uh, similar thing here, can, can promote tissue regeneration, can be good as well, especially for acne scars. Vetiver is one of the best. And here's an anti-acne face mask. You're gonna mix three tablespoons lemon juice, three tablespoons of raw honey or manuka honey, two tablespoons of a type of an oil like emu, olive, or almond, uh, eight drops of tea tree, eight drops of frankincense, six drops of helichrysum there as well. Mix them in a jar, use this on a regular basis, okay? Now here's some other remedies I wanna talk about. Aloe vera, using aloe vera on a regular basis, both internally and on the site can help get rid of scars. Shea butter and coconut oil are very, um, moistening and hydrating for the skin, which is good for scars. Silicone gel sheets, these actually sort of act like how-to band-aids to help heal scars. They lessen scar pain and redness. And there's a study that shows these are safe and effective for hypertrophic and for keloid scars as well. Pressure garments, so wearing a compression sleeve on an area where you have uh, an injury can also help and lessen overall scarring during the time. And onion extract, this is great. Onion extract is super high in quercetin, uh, as well as um, kemphorol and uh, cepelin, 
And all of these compounds have anti-inflammatory properties, can help heal scarring, improve scar appearance after four weeks of daily application, viable option also for hypertrophic scars. So onion extract, let me tell you the biggest ones for me, if you really wanna see results, helichrysum, calendula, and onion extract, probably the most powerful three that you could use there on a regular basis. Now, emu oil is the most moistening of the oils. The unique thing about emu oil, similar thing to both chicken fat and tallow, these type of fats are actually the sort of fat, the same fats that we have on our own body because these come from animals. You know, we're, we're mammals as well. And so these actually are the most re, uh, hydrating for human skin, even more so than something like an olive oil or coconut oil. So emu oil is a really, really good option there as well. And then apple cider vinegar. You know, doing apple cider vinegar where you're rubbing it on the area letting it dry and then putting on something else topically is great. This is especially good for acne, can work as well. But remember some of these tips. Some of the best essential oils include tea tree, manuka, helichrysum, frankincense, and vetiver. And then also, you know, do some aloe vera. Shea butter can be great. Those sil silicone gel sheets, pressure sleeves and garments, onion extract, emu oil, and apple cider vinegar are great. But listen, if you want to simplify things, here's what you're going to do. Get some helichrysum oil get some calendula and get some onion extract, mix them together and put it on topically two to three times daily. That is gonna be the best of the best thing you can do to get rid of any type of scar more quickly. And hey, if you're not subscribed here to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I've got some more videos coming out on ancient remedies, essential oils, and how to use food as medicine. Hope you've enjoyed this video on how to get rid of scars naturally. Hi, Dr. Axter, I wanna say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video, and also don't forget to subscribe if you wanna get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.